Hey guys, Chris here with a new deck profile. So previously we did... Oh god. What did we do last time? I think we did your DVDs last time, I think. Uh, we did our Galaxy Eyes and Fifi's. We did Galaxy Eyes. Uh, we did ABC Spiral. Oh yeah, that's a thing. You're the one who made it a thing! <laughs> well, not my solid on one Super H on the time. Okay, whatever. Uh, ABC Metal Foe. Let's start this. I don't know. I, I, I want to make a deck that doesn't work for once in my life. Um, uh, so we start with standard ABCs. I'm not making sure B's under here this time. Like, okay, plus. card card center or focus center will be right there. All right, so we have triple A, triple B, and triple C. Or as uh, good players like to say, ah, ba, and sa. <laughs> so the deck will the next one. So what? Don't, don't ask. I'm asking. Don't ask. Okay. For a while, I was thinking about playing Thirteen Gear as well to make Omega. Wait, who? Thirteen Gear. It's for Synchro ABCs. We gotta do that sometime, too. It's my favorite. It's oh, okay. Yeah, it's like my favorite vari variation of this deck. Uh, okay. Uh, anyone who knows ABCs right now knows this is uh, standard, because Destrudo and this is agent fa uh, is mixed H fairy, but it's Deco Talker uh, Buster without your normal summon. I still play it because I, I'm a I like Synchros. And we get to the fun parts. So for Metal Gear, you run bi uh, double Bismuth Gear. Uh, I run two of everything. Okay. Maybe just, like, just put them out. Yeah, because like they're cloggy. We'll put them yeah, just, just whip them out. Just whip it out. That's what I say to uh, Sparrow players when I don't want to put up hand traps in the mirror match. Is that your master plan? Hell yeah, it is. God. Two of everything. Because... No, I, mean, uh, I, I run into detail why I play since, these. Since everything is... Uh, this is since this is new to meta people. <laughs> this deck used to be meta. I mean, like new generation. <laughs> new generation. Generation next. Damn spiral players that don't know what a metal pose is. Okay, Bismagir. Explain right. Bismagir first. Okay, so first I'm gonna explain the idea why I made these. No, no, Bismagir. Bismagir first. Just explain what they do, and then explain what. After. All right. So all of all of the metal foes are normal pendulums. Besides Bismagir. Bismagir. Um, but the, all their pendulum scales have the effect of you can target one face-up card you control, destroy it, then set a Metal Foe spell trap directly from your deck. Except for Bismagir. He says this, his scale says the same thing, but he's an effect monster, which reads, uh, when he's destroyed by a battle card effect, on the end phase, you can search a Metal Foe's monster. And the reason why I play with ABCs is because all the letters gain effects when they're sent to the graveyard. You really just wanted to put pendulums in ABC. I put pendulums in galaxy eyes. Oh yeah, we're doing that deck profile next. <laughs> you sound so disappointed. I am disappointed. That's the issue. <laughs> so yeah, this is standard metal foes. Is metal foes even standard anymore? Uh, Astrograph. Uh, Astrograph. Best pendulum in the entire game. Papa Skate. Well, like, okay, if a card's destroyed, like a pen scale's destroyed, you can search for the same. Oh, here's the best part. If you pop, so like, say you go Gold Driver, Pop B, to uh, set counter, B searches, this specials itself, then you can search the letter that was destroyed. Because it just says, like, card that was destroyed, a monster. Astrograph's definitely the best pendulum monster uh, out right now. And we get Electrum, it's gonna be great. Triple Hanger for uh, ABCs. I like it. Oh god! <laughs> There's literally. Like, I, don't, I don't even understand why you run it. Cause like, doesn't it? Wait, can you just pop and search? Is that what it is as well? This. What does it do? Uh, all metaphors gain 300 attack. That's and, it. No, the rest. <laughs> it's like it's like a diagram thing, kind of. Uh, but okay. when you have a scale, a metaphor scale, all metaphor monsters are unaffected by card effects except their fusions. So all their vanillas are unaffected by card effects. I just run it because uh. How quickly Hanger runs out of things to search and equip in the deck. I just like having another random field spell, just because I can. Yeah, now you run four different field spells, or three? Three. I run a uh, three Hanger, one Metamorphation, and a And then ravine. the Dragon Ravine for the Distruder on the yeah. Zark, whatever. <laughs> uh, Dark Worm and Distruder. Yeah. Okay, field spells. now we're not focusing on these filthy comments. Going on to the salty. 
I played. I, I pulled this playing Galaxy Eyes. I went four hundred one time with Galaxy Eyes when I pulled this. Okay, now let's go back to everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Dual terraformings because of uh, fill spells. Pretty standard. You play as many terraformings as you can. Set rotation because uh, fill spells. Trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Best card in the entire deck is this one. Um, because uh, Metapho- Metaphos Fusion can be activated when it's that. Uh, Alright, so how these work is this one, when it gets set, you can't activate the turn you set it because how click plays are worded. You can't activate them turn the set, so you can only use it. It's a quick play, though, so you can activate on your opponent's turn for destruction, yeah. which is nice. But this one's better. Uh, it's a normal spell card, but it, it's, it's poly for Metaphos. And uh, when it's in your graveyard, it's a hard one per turn. You can shuffle it, shuffle it into the deck and draw one card, so it recycles itself, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna just explain this one thing real fast because I have to. What? So the scales, you pop a card, then you search, and then you, you set. set. Yeah, you set the metaphor any spell trap from deck. So basically, fire fist. They activate and then they set from deck, and then you can activate them again because they're not quick plays. Are you done with me? Triple Wavering Eyes. Not even going to respond. Uh, Wavering Eyes, I think, is powerful <laughs> in this deck. Okay. Uh, Pen Magician. Odd Eyes. All right, I'm going to say this right now. In the in any Pendulum match, the first one to get Wavering Eyes and uh, use it correctly pretty much wins that duel. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this does, but I want to explain. It gets effects. So you, it gets effects for how many skills are destroyed. It destroys both yours and your opponents. If you destroy one, they take five hundred. Da- your opponent takes five hundred damage. If you do two, it searches a pendulum monster, astrograph. <coughs> uh, three banishes a card on the field. Four. Oh yeah, that's what it does. What? I, n- I never. I, all I know is that it, the first two effects and the last effect. I, I forgot it banishes. I I, I play this too much online, so. Everyone's playtesting Pendulum Magicians online right now. So that's the perfect card to go against them. That's yeah, the- so like, like, actually, when I, I do want to get an Electrum. Heavy Metal Foes Electrum for this deck. Well, I mean, like, everyone wants it. It's Metal Foes. You know it's special. Yeah, I'm special because I play Metal Foes. But, uh... I mean, like, uh, Licorice, or Lyricris, whatever, they... <laughs> The the DD Crow Searcher from Spirals. Just, oh yeah, that has an archetype. <laughs> <laughs> that currently play my spirals has an archetype. Okay, let's continue. Alright, so Wavering Eyes, because Wavering Eyes is good. Right no guy. explaining. Right guy. Double combo. Okay. Uh, when activated, it does nothing, but if you fusion summon, you can special summon a metal foes from your graveyard of a lower level. This includes if your opponent fusion summons. Who fusion ABC? Uh, it doesn't work with ABC, sadly, because that's not a proper fusion summon, but like, for instance, Odd Eyes Fusion. Or, wait, 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 so... If you go Odd Eyes Fusion and fuse something... So what if I just contact fusion? That uh, doesn't work, sadly. You can't use it against this go. That, this this go? This, this Kinda thing. Kind of the disco. Oh god! But, like you have to like fusion summon with a f- spell card. Yeah, so like trap. my star, my supreme starving venom safe. Yeah, because I mean, contact. unless you're playing D heroes and you have a fusion trap. Dinoster. I'm I'm Dark I, Law. Dark Law uses match change, so it works. Well, mm, but it's not a proper fusion. Uh, but it uses the spell card. Okay, whatever. Triple counter, best trap card in the deck. Like. Okay, so when a card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a metal foes from your deck. And when it's in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this to add a metal foes from your ex- face up from your extra deck to your hand. So good recovery, especially in uh, Master Roll 4 when your extra deck gets too filled up with metal foes, you can start adding back to your hand and pin summon them. Or scales. Because, you know, Wavering Eyes hurts you too. Alright, then we move on to the extra deck. We got... ABC. Oh. ABC. Yeah. Like, standard. Uh, double Mithrilium, because Boss Monster recycles the stuff, the amount of foot cards that go to your graveyard, so you can cycle, like, things, like your... Uh, damn, I can't think right now. The Metaphos monsters are sent to the graveyard because you fused them from hand, or discard them off a of buster. Uh, so its full effect is 
Hard ones per turn on your turn, you can shuffle two Metal Foes cards from your graveyard, target one card on the field, bounce it back to hand, and you shuffle the cards in the graveyard to your deck. And when this is sent to the graveyard, you special summon a Metal Foes monster, Metal Foes Pendulum monster from your graveyard or your extra deck. So he's pretty nice recovery. What is War, it? Warren Oracle. This thing? Uh, I, I don't actually know its name. Oracle. Oracle. Oracle? Oracalcos. Oh, <laughs> god damn, the seal! Oh, I wish he could let all decks. So, what he does is when he, a Metal Foes monster and, uh, flicks. When a Metal Foes monster attacks a defense position monster, he does double piercing. So, he's Chaos Max. But for everything. It was nice. And when he's sent to the graveyard, you pop a card on the field. So, he combines well with uh, full Metal Foes fusion on your opponent's turn to make Alkahist. Because then you pop a card, and then his effect is during your opponent's turn only, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, equipped it to him, and he's going to gain defense equal to his attack. Yeah, defense equal to that monster's attack that you took. And you could use the uh, cards he equips as fusion materials for your metaphose fusions. I, I, I don't know. Like, these actually come up but rare. You just beat sticks. You sometimes need beat sticks. They don't even have effects. You just need beat sticks every now and then. They don't have effects. Beat sticks! Um, I question your sanity. Well, because like sometimes uh, he takes like, things you can't use for your other metaphors fusions, but you want, if you, you want to clear up your spell trap zones. And so you like make these because these are generic. Okay. Cool that. So it's like you need to free it up so you make that. Then you like use these for your other fusions. Or beat sticks. Agent Fairy for Destrudo. Keyshik Magician. You can use uh, two pendulum uh, to your metal foes or to your letters to make it. And it's like if, if your opponent's dumb enough and put something like underneath an extra monster zone, you just summon it there and bounce it back to hand. The other effect never comes up. But if it's there, it does it guys too. Two proxy. Because. Proxy. Proxy genetic link too. Really good. For ABCs. Double decode. When uh Electrum comes out, I'm gonna take out one decode and play it one Electrum. But so yeah, that's there for when we get Electrum. Is everything? Oh yeah. Uh I actually saw this in one of the comments on one of your other videos for about one. I do own hand traps. Right now, I own a full power spiral deck. I don't own ashes or gammas. So you don't have hand traps. I have ogres, trolls. So you don't have hand traps. I have trolls. You don't matter unless you have ash. <laughs> you don't matter unless you have ash. Come hey, on, man! Hey. Pot of neck twelve. You gotta face your, You go face a spiral player and drop a troll on them. Trust me, it hurts a lot. Okay. Um. That's the end for this video. If you enjoyed the deck list, uh, please like whatever. Subscribe. Shameless plug. This deck's um, fun because it plays on your opponent's turn. Ask Chris. I will be showing the... like. I'm going to be making another video of just combos for this deck. So it's going to be on the channel. Have fun finding it. <laughs>